What's next? Oh, here we go. April 2018 swap from Karen. Now, Karen was at both, I was at two events. One was the Putler's team event and one was on stage. I've got everything muddled up. Some of my colleagues will show you their swaps um, each day separately, but do you know what I'm like? You know me already, Mrs. Muddle. So, oh, look at this, it's gorgeous. The little wee note cards. I never got round to getting any of these, but I think I have to. Look, how cute are they? Oh, well, that is just gorgeous. Just a, and she's used one of the scallop punches that I just showed you earlier and a circle punch and this beautiful little um, white ribbon. Again, in the, it's in the main catalogue. That is gorgeous. Uh, oh gosh, I didn't realise how small they were, but they're just perfect. Just a wee note or a wee... Just when you need to send something to a friend, that is just brilliant. Karen, thank you two swaps from you. I, I also had two different swaps. I had some for Friday and some for Saturday, which I will show you later this week. Oh, here we go. This is from a lovely lady, um, slimandstylish.com. I know her as Helsey Slim. Um, Helsey was absolutely brilliant and she picked Karen and I up from Birmingham Airport and took us to Telford. How kind was that? So it made our journey completely untraumatic it was fantastic that is she's used the tutti frutti now she said she made a hundred of these now there's five pieces of fruit stamped and punched out on here how dedicated is that that must have taken hours healthy and thank you so much it's so pretty a little three by three card and this gorgeous lemon lime twist ribbon it's, it's fab ribbon this bab ribbon, you should um, get some and give it a go. It lies so beautifully. It, I, I just love it. And your Tutti Fruity designer series paper. Helsey, thanks. And thanks for the lift. It was just fab. We didn't have a clue where we were going or anything. So that was really good. What else have we got? Oh, another card. Oh, one of my favourite stamps. The best birds. I love them. I love them. Whenever I saw these coming out last year in their cat in the catalogue, I had to have them. I can keep this stamping with Jacqueline, Jacqueline Calder. Now again, I met Jacqueline for the first time, but she lives relatively local to me. She's she's in Central Scotland. We've been going to meet hundreds of times, never managed it. Hey, but we have now, so that was that was great. So you you can uh, see Jacqueline. You can contact Jacqueline. Um, jack.calder at virginmedia.com if you want to, um, to ask her about this is the beautiful uh, is this the powder pink yeah or is it blush no I think it's powder pink from from the in colours and look she has used wink of Stella over the bird to sparkle him up that's a great set. You should give it a go. Uh, yeah, it's powder pink. How original is that to actually read it? And there you go. Isn't that just beautiful? And she's used cupcake cutouts, thinlets, I think, to cut the label. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Uh oh, I know who this is from, but let's have a look. Let you see. Steeple. I didn't have to open this one before I travelled because I was sharing a room with Karen. So she told me it was safe. Well, it got through security going, it got through security coming back. So here we go. Karen McDonald of Corey Paper Craft. She is actually my um, team leader in Stampin' Up. I signed up with Karen. I've known Karen since since forever. She's also she's kind of like an extra little sister, but we get on fine. And we didn't kill each other in a whole weekend. We shared a room. We travelled together. We didn't sit together all the time. Some of the time we did, but we talked to lots of different people. So she's used this gorgeous, gorgeous foil frenzy 
designer series paper which is beautiful and a good day stamp set and one of our little punches and she's made a beautiful box for I believe these are mechanical pencils and this one's a mechanical pencil and a fine liner pen how kind thank you Karen she's one of the kindest people I know And did a brilliant good deed at um, Birmingham Airport. We were sitting in a cafe looking out the window watching the world go by and a lady dropped her scarf um, and didn't notice and people were really about to just trample over it but we saw they were waiting at the taxi queue so Karen ran out, picked up the scarf and returned it to the owner. How kind was that? We could have just sat there all day. Hey watching to see if anyone would do it that but Karen did it always always kind Karen Let's just call you kind Karen there we go that is fabulous thank you I think she might have given me more than one thing so let's just have a look I think this came from Karen too oh my Yeah, she hadn't put anything in that. I think that was kind especially for me, but it's in with all my so coffee keys. I'm a coffee addict, and some edim, um, some tea from a, a Scottish company, Brodie's. So that was with you know to try and take something mm -hmm. Scottish with us. Oh, some sea salt, dark chocolate, yum yum, and a wee strawberry chocolate. How kind. The coffee and the tea I will use. The chocolate my husband will devour and the packaging will we may have, that's Ed Edinburgh um, Edinburgh envelope punch board uh, to make the envelope I've not put this in back nicely the way Karen had it all oh she'll be tisking at me right now and this gorgeous gorgeous designer series paper which is in the spring summer catalogue I used it hundreds of times even used it in some of my swaps but I can't remember what it's called something about love but it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous designer series paper this one and here's somebody else used the same designer paper Karen Barley now Karen Barley is also in the put love team um, What's can Oh no, chocolate. Oh goodness. This is lovely. Gosh, an unusually folded box. Well, what I'm going to do is try and find out how to do all these beautifully folded things that I don't know, the ones I don't know already, and uh, see if we can just a punch so that she can thread on the label. Look, and we open it just at one end and what's in here obviously it's oh I don't want to destroy it because my girls will want and then they'll be wanting to know how to make things an egg whoa more chocolate for the mister and then just these two flaps fold in here and ooh, I'll tie it back together later tie and goes on and Karen is Dunmark Paper Crafts, D O N E Mark Paper Crafts dot com. Have a look at Karen. Spent quite a lot of time with Karen, getting to know her a bit better. Karen is in County Durham, I believe. So if you're in that area, get in touch with Karen and see if you can stamp with her. Oh gosh, we still got hundreds. I'm never going to get through all this. Oh goodness me. Right, here we go. Taffy Crafting, Donna Lester, another um, member of the same team, the Putlers team. So some of the girls I swapped with on Friday and uh, and then some of them I swapped with on Saturday because I couldn't get round to everybody on Friday. And if I didn't swap with you, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Um, and I can't get in. I watched one of my, uh, it was Halsey doing hers, um, and she's got some long nails, so she managed 
she managed to get in there. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful wee box. And I do like this one from the Eastern Palace set. Lovely wee green sweeties. There we go. I'll keep hubby going. And the tranquil tide is out of paper is lovely. I'm not going to tie it up just now because I will fail. Was it in a bag? Oh my goodness. I'm, how do I know? Oh yeah, you've stuck it on the side. Don't I? I'm like, oh gosh. Right. I'll be spending my evening assembling things. And look at this lovely. From my kitchen to yours. That is lovely tablet. I shouldn't be opening it because I can't even have sugar. I don't have sugar. I'm sugar free. That is lovely. Whoever made this, thank you so much. Please let me know that you made it. That's gorgeous. If you let me know, I will give you a shout out in another video. What we got here. Another wee one with this beautiful sweet soiree. I'm kind of dashing through them. I'm trying to see who's made me them. And that beautiful Calypso Coral Ribbon. Come out. A candle. I love scented candles and at least I can have them. Well, I can't eat them. There's nobody telling me who made this. But it's beautiful. If you made that, let me know. Oh, and I will. Honestly, if I, anything here that you haven't left your details on, um, or it might be that you did leave your details and when I've been looking through that your details have fallen off but please let me know and I will give you a shout out oh wow what's this what is this oh there's that set again How, why have I never seen this before I use the same catalogue as everybody else friendship sweetest thoughts blossom in the heart Guess I've still got more shopping to do. Oh, how sweet is this? It's really sweet. So it's very vanilla cardstock. What? Oh, and look, she's used the label punch to make the with the wood. Oh, what's it called again? The, the Wood Textures Designer Series paper and she's cut out with the label punch and then put it together to look like a fence or a gate and these flowers and I know what set they're from and I can't remember and the beautiful beautiful little have you used glue to do that? let's have a look I don't know I don't think she's seeing what she's embellished it with, but it's beautiful, really beautiful. Oh wow, she's put some seeds in. I wonder the wee bee as well to so she's put seeds in of wildflowers, native wildflowers. Oh super tony stokes oh tony thank you these are gorgeous and i will plant them in i do have a very small front garden but i will plant them in there and look at the gold embossed bee isn't that just fab and the wee vellum packet for the seeds oh the one or two fallen out i'm going to be very careful there oh it's just gorgeous what a beautiful way to present some seeds I think I might have to copy that because I've got a lot of friends that like, well, they find solace in their garden and we like to encourage the bees. We need the bees, desperately need the bees or we'll have no food if we kill them all off. Oh, that is beautiful. What a great idea, the garden fence. Thank you. Thank you so much. Did I, did, have you got a... I forgot to check to see if you had a... Tony, have you got a blog? Sorry. Ooh. Oh yeah, super stylish stampers. Have a look for Tony. 
This is definitely stylish. Definitely fits with your name. Oh gosh, I don't know what happened there, but a bit of a jump in the filming, but I've pulled some of the... I'm, I'm nowhere near finished. I've got so many. I'm overwhelmed with them all. So I will try to edit this together to one film. So I'll just keep going here. Um, I'm still doing... Um, I've got... Even when I've done all these things that are taking up more space, I've got a whole lot. A whole lot. It's unbelievable. But I've tried to... I finally made a wee a space to get a cup of coffee. And I can do a few more of them. Oh, where's my pokey tool? Because it's the only way to get these. Because at the moment I don't have fingernails. I will have to um, stop filming fairly soon and go and have a shower and, I guess, go to work. Maybe put clothes on as well. Sitting here in my pyjamas. Well, look. This is paper hankies. How handy is that? And who's done these? I can't get in. Oh, come on, let me in. Oh, and they match the patterns on the hankies. That's brilliant. Oh, then there's paper in here to tell me who's. I remember swapping with you. Don't worry, I'm just struggling to remember everybody's names. And it is, it's Karen Mackley, who I know feel well. And then as soon as I've opened it, I've remembered who gave me that. Karen, how clever are you? Because I've seen you give other people with different. How have you identified what matches? That is so good and you've almost matched the colours as well. How clever. Simple gift. Is this made with, is this just a cut and score or is it made with, no it is, it's a cut and score piece of card made into a box. I was wondering if it was made with the box, the bag maker punch, but I think Karen has scored all this herself. So she's Carrie Ann Cariana Cards at wordpress.com so if you want to have a look at Karen's blog and see other brilliant ideas what a lovely style she's got and um, how clever how clever and it says here it's the work of art stamp set so she's paired up so she's at, she's managed to find she, she did a few designs she's bought tissues with a few designs on them and she's managed to find stamps and colours that coordinate for everyone. I, I did see some, she did some other ones. Oh, I can't even get it back in. <laughs> that is just a brilliant idea. And who doesn't need paper tissues at some time? Okay, here we go. A pencil. A pencil. How clever is that in a little wee package doesn't that make a simple thing a simple item that we all need daily and I have to say I do like the plain wood pencils um, with the tranquil tide which is oh I think that's from delightful daisy designer series paper and the just for you we've got the scallop punch again used here so yeah and stamp set is teeny tiny wishes and a good day she's used, she says. And I think because she's done different ones, so that's why she's identifying. So this is Annetta Cambridge, Crafty Nettie. So have a wee look for um, Crafty Nettie. That's clever. Oh, look at this. I love this. Again, I'm sorry. It did get a bit squashed in the journey. Blame Flybee. Or blame me for being too mean to check in a bag. Gillian Selwood, purple jelly designs, lovely lady. Spent some time with her on Saturday and on Friday. Um, thanks, Gillian. This is lovely. Lovely wee candles in the box. And they're pale pink. I'm not going to get them out just now. Break destroy the box. We'll pop this back in because I know the girls on my team love, um, they, they love sweeties but they also love ca scented candles. Oh that's lovely. Thanks Gillian. Ha Purple Jelly Designs, have a look for Gillian. She's got some YouTube videos. Look her up, have a look. She's got some brilliant ideas. Ooh. 
and even sometimes when you know different demonstrate I can't even twist it back Gillian I'm hopeless I'll sort it later before my team see me. I think I don't I haven't put the paper in properly oh more tissues how lucky am I Again, it's got a wee bit squash. Oh, D, Lady D Crafts. D's one of the ladies in the Putlers team as well. Um, didn't get a chance to speak to D on Friday, but I certainly saw her on Saturday. I'm sorry there's a few jumps in this film and a few gaps. Um, still working my way through. I, I'm overwhelmed with the amount of swaps here, so I'm just going in to have a wee look here. Look, this beautiful triangle shape box with the wee rabbit again and this is from the birthday uh, paper designer series paper, the birthday one, one of the backs. So many, I, I don't remember the names of everything, I'm not good at that. And there's some Easter eggs in here. There's, there was a dimensional closure on it but it's um, because I've been in to have a look. I had to look in all my swaps before I could pack them for the plane and I do apologise for the ones that got squashed. So this is April Hotwood has made this, no links to a blog or anything but um, so the stamp set is a good day, I always forget that what stamp set that's from the wee rabbit from a good day and the designer series paper is picture perfect party okay if you want to have some of that picture perfect party designer series paper have a wee look on the website because the retiring list is now out so some a lot of the papers um will be retiring i will do another bit do a little bit about this that later but I, I would have a check now because if there's any of the things that are retiring this year if you want them you need to get in quick because they will sell out quickly I love the construction of this box and I'm going to have to investigate how it is done because I think I might have to do do some boxes like this I think that's really clever that's really nice I like the style of that um, okay oh now here we go, this is from one of my colleagues in the Putlers team, Sally. I've known Sally since the very first event I went to. I sat at a table with Sally. She's a brilliant YouTuber. You should check out Sally's stampers. Now, I know that when I take this apart, there's not a chance I'm going to be able to put it back together again. But I'm pretty sure Sally's done a video on these. In fact, there is a, there's a YouTube on these boxes. They're made with four squares. And obviously, depending on the size of the square, oh, I'm seeing it now, Sally. The, depending on the size of the square will depend on the size of the finished box. It's really clever. And Sally's put a tiny, tiny little highlighter in here. Isn't that cute? A wee orange one. That is beautiful. That is so handy. So she's used the, the fruit basket um, and the itty bitty fruit punch pack to make this. What a lot of work. Another person that spent ages stamping the bits of fruit and punching them out and stamping the bowls and cutting them out, I think. Oh my goodness. Fabulous. What a lot of work, Sally. But thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And I am going to try and coax it back together again hmm. sort of a but I'll spend more time on that later but I'm certainly going to have a go at making these I think these are really clever and I know my grandson would love to have a go he loves this sort of thing okay. forgive me if some I've already shown some of the swaps you might see some twice because there was a wee gap in the film in it and although I checked the clip, the last clip I've forgotten what was in it so I've kind of got in a muddle. This this is a lovely wee bag and look at the paper isn't that got a sort of Scottish look about it. I did sort of think it had a wee look of a 
a wee sporran style handbag. I think it's really cute. And this this was one of my colleagues in the Putlers team, Tracy Walkden of Winbury Whispers. So if you look up winburywhisperswordpress.com, you'll see um, Tracy's blog. And I'm sure she'll have a blog showing how she made these beautifully folded bags. And forgive me tearing the paper. Um, and it's got some lovely sweeties and I'm going to put this all back in because I'm going to check check out how Tracy made that and have a go at that too. Okay, what's whoa chocolate. Chocolate makes everything better. How true is that? Again, this was one of at my Putlers get together and have you forget here we go. I'm pretty sure it was Ellie. Yep, Ellie Collins of Co Crafts. Collins and Co Craft. So you have a wee look look for Ellie. Look up Collins and Co Crafts, and I'm sure she'll made this beautiful stamped tone on tone wrapper, which is beautiful. And then the does she say what stamp set that's uh. from? More than chocolate stamp set. And she's used tear and tape for popping everything together. Really lovely. How how does that? I mean, that really dresses up a wee bar of chocolate. A plain and simple gift. And I can't get back in. There we go. How special does that make it look? Pop that in. That is fabulous. Fabulous. Oh, oh look. A pretty brooch with a faceted gem in the middle. Let's have a look. Who's country wise crafter Tanya Pratt? Well, this is lovely, Tanya. If I can get in, she's told us what she's used here. I'm wondering. Oh, do you know what? I think that's the balloon punch and the leaf punch. How clever is that? Let's have a wee look. That's a good one to try. Yeah, balloon bouquet punch for the petals. So she's punched out. And the one inch circle punch and the half inch circle punch and the leaf punch. That is so, so clever onto a wee brooch finding. That is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Love that. That is just an, and what a lovely wee gift for someone. A lovely wee gift. Um, so look up Tanya Pratt at Countryside Crafter. Countrysidecrafter.blogspot.co.uk I can't talk today. Okay, that is gorgeous. What have we got next? Katrina King, again, she's one of my Putler's um, colleagues. She is Katrina's Paper Crafting corner.co.uk and she's used the myths and magic in here and what's where she got that a good day again for this lovely little sentiment a little treat for someone sweet and I think that's kinder chocolate in there so what a nice little gift using the scallop punch to shape at the top that's fab thanks Katrina another little box isn't this dinky? Hello! And a little gold ribbon. And you could tell me what this paper is or it is. Two boxes made with from the same paper pack. But I can't. I'm having a bit of a moment. <gasps> a lovely scented candle in. And I think I know who it's from, but I'm going to check just to make sure. Well, this is from Tracy. Tracy walked in as well, but she must because we were at two different things, we've um, swapped each. So she's yeah painted with love designer series paper. I'm an eye hopeless. There we go, and she's windberry whispers. I think that smells of strawberry. That's lovely. I love scented candles. It makes up for the fact that I can't eat all the sugary things. Do you know what? I'm going to put that back in because that's a dinky wee box. I'm loving that. Thank you, Tracy. Some people are just so generous. There we go. 
once I've opened them and popping them in a bag so that my teamies can have a look. Whoa, like this box. Who is it from? Oh. Oh, do you know, I think this was from my team leader, from Karen. Thank you very much. That's lovely. That's gorgeous. Ritter Sport. Just a nice wee size, isn't it, for a wee gift? Do you find Karen at Co Cory Crafts? I'm not sure if I've shown this already. I've got fun I've got a recollection that I might have, but hey, let's have a look again. Envelope punch board wee box with some sweeties in. And this is from Corinne Marie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have shown you this already. Um, Corinne Marie designs.com have a look for Corinne this is just lovely she's used the um, envelope punch board to make boxes because it can make more than envelopes and Haribo or Star Mix what? yeah it's Haribo everybody likes Haribo I like it too but I can't have it but hey keep telling you that <laughs> what a bore I'm becoming right and linen thread to finish off which with a bit of luck I'll get back on and I love the Painted Harvest designer series paper a lot of these papers will be going so just check the retiring list if you like them and get them ordered up if you like them because once they're gone they're gone here we go again how's about this a lovely pendant, isn't this gorgeous? It's just gorgeous. Look, it's who's done this? Tracy Allen of stampandscrap.com. Look her up because she, this is obviously a jewellery finding where you can pop in your own backing on the under the dome glass so she's done this and she's done it using the tree ring stamp set the brushes silver embossing powder and she's done it onto watercolor paper that is fabulous made a lovely background with the brushes and then silver embossed the tree rings that is lovely and do you know what i am going to wear that and use it i love trees i love trees so that is a wee treasure for me. I love that. I'll let the girls see it before I put it on a tree, but I do love that. And a big paper clip. Oops. I think I um I think I can read this without so Rosa Johnston. No, I'll have to bring it out because I can't read her blog from here. I'll be using this is fab for keeping bits and pieces together. It doesn't want to come out though. Come on, out you come. Come out. Here we go. Let's need you out so that I can reach you. Come on. Definitely doesn't want to come out. Something stuck somewhere. Oh, yep. Trust me. Sorry folks, bear with me. Ah, uh, that's what it is. It's got a, an, a lovely sticky circle that I didn't see. Okay, so it's Rosa Johnston and it's Procrastinate with Ro. Well, that'd be short for, for Rosa. So, oh, that's her email address we don't have. Try try looking up Procrastinate with Ro and see if you can find Rosa if she has a blog or maybe she doesn't but if she da if you do Rosa uh, pop a wee note to me and I'll let everyone know. So I'm going to pop that in there and here we go another little box. How pretty is this? I'm sorry if I'm rushing through through this but there's still loads to get through so this is from Julie Addison another of my Putler teammates and she's at mylunacrafts.com and she's made this sweet little bag punched out with the leaf punch we thank you I think that's from Woodward's tiny little generic peg and what we got inside here oh some lovely sweeties so 
you look up Julie on Luna Crafts. Full of ideas for you. Now I have to apologise for this. Somewhere along the line, the beautiful bow made with the bow punch, the bow builder punch. I'm so sorry, Angelina. Um, I've lost it. But this is made by Angelina Clark of intertwinedesigns.co.uk. Look um, Angelina up on YouTube as well. She does some cracking videos. Um, this is a beautiful little box. It's made from the Lots to Love box framelits and she's obviously just uh, brought the size down a wee bit. Now I did a video of doing that, changing the size of the box. Check out Angelina's um, box and if you want those framelits they are retiring so get in and get them ordered now. So oh, some cutesy little tic tacs and some post-it notes which I'll be using in my new catalogue so that I can help me build my wish list. Thank you. Oh. Here we go, more 3D items. So lucky. So here's a lovely little kind of, it looks like a bag within a box. I think I have made one like this before. Lovely um, ombre ribbon again. Check your retiring list. This is so pretty and if it's going you want to get stocked up now. Oh my goodness! Some beautiful um, handmade buttons. Oh, they're beautiful. Handmade by Joanne Boxall of Chocolates and Crafts. You look Joanne up on Chocolates and Crafts. These are beautiful, Joanne. How clever. And they say we're handmade with love. These are gorgeous. Thank you so much. And thanks for sharing, swapping. I love your wee box bag. I'm going to pop them back in and hopefully the ribbon I'll tie it up later properly, but we'll just tie it on just now so we don't lose it. I know my team that couldn't go there desperate to get in here. Look at this. Stamped onto Whisper White. Just a tiny wee box. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get into it without destroying it. I hope, hope I can. I don't think I'll open mine because Karen my team leader and I shared a room so she had checked in her so I kind of knew it was safe for the plane. What we got in here? Oh, that's like sherbet I think in there. Looks cute. Something different and light. So yeah she's used the touches of texture over there. Now, now, the touches of texture is one of the most versatile stamp sets that I'm aware of and also it is carrying over onto the new, the new um, catalogue. We are keeping it so you'll be able to use it. And what else have we got? The linen thread. So this is from Pat James and it's patsquietplace.blogspot.com and that is so pretty. I like your choice of colours there, Pat. And thank you. Thank you for sharing. Love the little wee. Hey, like a wee sherbet sweetie. It's, it shakes. <laughs> I'm just going to pop that. Oh, it won't all go back in properly. What am I like? This is going to be the longest video I've ever made, but I'm just going to try and put it all in one. It might not happen, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll try. When it comes to editing, I don't know whether it's going to come out enough. 
What have we got in this cute tiny wee bag? It's so small I can't get my fingers in. Come on, out you come. What do you, oh, something delicate in here. Oh wow, look at that. A wee scissor charm. That is fabulous. Thank you so much. And this is from one of my Putler colleagues. Jez, so we've got na, Jez Car Carpenter, but it's nigeza dot yeah. Her website is www.nigeza.co.uk. If you have a look on her blog, you'll you'll find her. Nigeza creates. You'll find her on her blog. Sorry if I'm saying this all wrong, but that is so cute, and the little lemon line twist paper bag is just so sweet. So sweet. So if you check out Najeza's um, blog or Jesus' blog as she's known, um, check it out and you'll see how to make that gorgeous little box. Now what's the chances of me getting this through the whole problem? Oh, done it. So we'll tie it up later but I'm just tying it in a loose knot so that I don't lose it. My last few 3D items, and then I've got a pile of flat things. So, what we got here? Daisy punch, grateful for a friend like you. Leaf punch, eh, a belly band round, I think. Yeah. Oh, isn't that pretty? But it won't come off. That's it. I've got it this way. It comes off easier if you do it the right direction. Eh? And some Skittles. Oh, limited edition. Dark side Skittles. Oh, wow. And this is a Julie Addison as well. This was obviously for the Putlers group. Putlers event, April 2018. Um, and this is mylunacrafts.com that Julie... Um, so if you look up Julie, this is clever too. Mm, limited edition Skittles. Mm, yum. Someone will enjoy them. And that is so pretty and I love it. The green on the Night of Navy, that is so pretty. A bit of sparkle and some vellum in here too. Thank you. Oh, oh, lollipop treat. Lots of these been around this year. But Danielle, thank you so much. Um, if you have a look, Danielle's um, craftingwithdanny.blogspot.com and Crafting with Danny on YouTube. Look Danny up. She does some amazing work. And look the wee heart lollipops. And I know she does have a... Uh, YouTube out of how she made these. So look her up. Crafting with Danny. And anyone who thinks I haven't given you a big enough shout out, just let me know. Um, sometimes I drift off and I'm on wee world here and forget what I'm doing. Um, so this is a, a wee, this is the Tutti Frutti designer series paper. And this is Crafty Kelly cards. Or craftykelly.co.uk have a wee look oh look at that beautiful charm with love and the wee angel wing isn't that sweet thank you so much kelly kelly and jordan have a wee look look her up now that's pretty and hopefully she'll have a wee blog showing you how she has done that i'll certainly be looking up i'll be going through it and making a list of sites to visit and people to subscribe to. Lots of extra. Uh, here we go. Another wee gift here. What's this beautifully packaged? I don't really want to open some of these. Oops. I love the way that people use the designer series paper to top up the cellophane bag. Really clever. Don't want to let me in though. Testament to our double sided tape that's keeping everything together very nicely. Come on, let me in. Let me in. Won't let me in. Hmm, I don't want to destroy this. I think it's post it notes in there in a wee folder. I don't want to take the whole thing apart before the girls have seen it because it, you know, these give them lots of good ideas. Oh, Janice, how stupid are you? I bet you're shouting at me now. 
Now, whoever made this, is, are your details in here? Oh yeah, I bet you're glad I got in there. Okay, Lilo Crafts. Look at what, I can't even remember who Lilo Crafts is. I can't remember your first name, I'm so sorry. Lilocrafts.co.uk Look her up. How clever is that? And lots of bits to mark my catalogue with. I'll certainly be using them. Thank you very much. Again, the leaf punch is so pretty. So I'm going to pop that back in the bag. How dim am I? Gee, sometimes I can't believe myself. Oh, I need to put, I've just found the magic Jez's card, so I'm just going to pop it in the box because when I'm showing it to the girls I might forget where that came from and I'm sure some of them want to look up your blogs and your YouTubes. So just a lovely wee belly band here and I'm unfolding, I'm maybe going a bit, oh this is from Jez as well, so obviously Jez had two different spots for each event as well so oh that's so pretty and another wee charm what a lucky person i am and after I ate chocolate um got a bit squashed in the journey jess sorry um but i'm sure it'll still get eaten by someone okay that is gorgeous and just a wee folded um, paper into an envelope simple but how effective is that and just a wee belly band over the top how a lovely wee gift to give somebody Table favour, wedding favour, you know, great ideas here. Look at this, I, I'm overwhelmed with this one. One lovely lady has given us all a pot of her homemade honey, but she's topped it with daisy punch flower and a bee. You tell me what stamp set, what set that bee's from. We, we challenge to you because I can't remember at the moment but you guys could let me know what, what set that bee's from. So this is our very own Norfolk honey and she's put warm it slightly in the microwave to melt it. This is Helen Peck Craft Creations and look she's used the, he, the hexagon embossing folder on the tag. How great is that? Look up BIM Craft Creations. That is Roof Lodge Craft Creations on Helen Peck. If you look her up, I'm sure you'll find her. That What a generous gift. What a generous gift. Right, and probably maybe one of the last 3D items. Here at the Putlers event, this was a gift from the team leader of the Putlers. She's my team leader's team leader, Sam. So she's put us together a little gift here it was in a nice envelope and I've taken it out so clip a lovely wee clip check the catalogue for them a nice little marker and a wee product gift inside for us and this is the corrugated um, elements in the main catalogue have a look oh what they look really useful so I will be using them Thank you Sam, that's good generous. Um, now I think most of the other items are flat, some are cards, some are notebooks and things but we'll just work our way through. So this, do you know what, I can't even think what paper that is but I'm sure it will tell me in the back. Tailor made crafts, she hasn't told me which paper that is but and I can't remember offhand, but it's really pretty, isn't it? The broken circles. That is gorgeous. Um, that's a good day stamp set. I wonder if she, oh, she stamped it. It's hand stamped. That's why I don't know what paper it is. How silly of me. So she's hand stamped that on the white paper and the stamp set is a good day. That's where the little wee rabbit comes from as well, isn't it? This rich razzle berry and lemon lime twist in here and berry burst. Fabulous and yep, that is super, thank you. 
I'm probably going a bit fast, but check out Tailor Made Crafts. That's really clever. What about this one with the harvest say and the acorns? This is pretty. Let's see if we can get in here. Hmm. Not sure if I can. Is this I thought this would doesn't want to move. Let's see if we can slide it down. It is a belly band, but it just doesn't maybe I'll do it through the narrower bit, Janice. That's it. So your kindness means so much more than you will ever know. know what we... Swap stamping up. So this is dkwsceramic.co.uk. Carla Lowe, thank you, Carla. This is lovely. Look Carla up on her website at dkwsceramic.co.uk. That's lovely, thank you. It's beautiful. And look, she's made it look like a wee hedgehog. Isn't that sweet? I mean, you could put a gift card or anything in there. There you go. We'll not hide the wee hedgehog. That is superb. Just put these to the side now. Okay, and a wee card front here with bird banter. Isn't that pretty? With the colours, the grey and the calypso coral. That is so pretty. There's nobody to... I don't know who it's from. They haven't let me know. But I, think, I do think that's gorgeous. Let me know who you are and I'll give you a shout out. Or has this fallen off something? I don't think so. Um, let me know who you are and I'll give you a wee shout out. Thank you. This notebook. Lovely wee notebook from Sarah. Sarah Crankshaw. Um, Sarah. Uh, yeah, the Cranky Crafter. Look Sarah up. She's definitely got a blog. I'm not sure if you YouTube check her out and you'll find out if you go on her blog that the crafty craft the cranky crafter and that's the bottles great book for making more lists i love it thank you sarah oh that's lovely is this what is this one called serene you hope you told me on the back have you because my memory prudence jones so, but she hasn't put. I know it is it serene something. Anyway, very pretty with the 